reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I too will take from the crest of the cedar, from its topmost branches tear off a tender shoot, and plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain heights of Israel I will plant it. It shall put forth branches and bear fruit, and become a majestic cedar. Birds of every kind shall dwell beneath it, every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree, lift high the lowly tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom. As I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, Most High, to proclaim your kindness at dawn and your faithfulness throughout the night. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. The just one shall flourish like the palm tree, like a cedar of Lebanon shall he grow. They that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. They shall bear fruit even in old age. Vigorous and sturdy shall they be, declaring how just is the Lord, my rock, in whom there is no wrong. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore we aspire to please Him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what He did in the body, whether good or evil. Alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. This is the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today, we hear from one of Paul's letters. The Apostle Paul wrote lots of letters to the first Christian communities that were forming all around the Roman Empire. Paul writes to the Corinthians, We walk by faith, not by sight. What does he mean? Faith is the belief and trust in God who cannot be seen. Faith is not nonsense. Christians don't believe fairy tales. We believe that God is bigger and more real than we could ever see and understand. So we have faith that God is always working and always loves us. But sometimes it seems like he works really slowly. For example, in the first reading, we hear how God makes trees grow. It takes many years for trees to grow, but they can live to be hundreds or thousands of years old. So even though God sometimes works slowly, he's always with us. 
We have faith when we trust that God has a plan for us and for the world. He likes to start small. For example, in the Gospel, Jesus compares the kingdom of God to a mustard seed. A mustard seed is a tiny seed that you can barely see, but it grows into a big tree, just like the church has grown. Even Jesus came into the world as a little baby. He grew into the man who died to save us and rose from the dead. The church was small, but it grew and grew, even though people tried to destroy it. And now there are over two billion Christians all around the world. We have to remember not to give up just because we don't see things happening. We have to trust God. Even though we feel small, through God's grace, we can grow to be saints. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also support Catholic Kids Media on Venmo or Patreon using the links in the description. Thanks for watching.